stoichiometry. That's right. Sodium bromide and chlorine. Then it's going to yield sodium chloride and bromine. Okay, let me write this equation down. Okay, starting with the sodium. That's right. Sodium is Na. Very simple. That's right. Okay, now, uh, bromide, which is a Br. Okay, so right there. Okay, N plus chlorine. That's right. Chlorine is a Cl. That yields, okay, sodium chloride, hopefully. But, so, you know what? Depends on how strong the bromine is and how strong this chlorine is. Okay, so actually more active. That's right. Chlorine is more active than bromine. Okay, that's why. That's right. Definitely this is going to replace this one. Okay. Okay. This sodium is going to kick this one away. Then take this chlorine in. Yeah, that's why this is reaction. Yes, it is. Okay, sodium. Now, chlorine together make a sodium chloride. Okay, so plus, okay, bromine right there by itself. Okay, now let's look at this equation right here. Oh, uh, chlorine, that's right. What about bromine? Both Brinkelhoff, you remember? Okay, Dr. Brinkelhoff, that's right, diatomic. Oh, right there and right there. Oh, it has to be. Now, together, that's okay. Okay, now, so we're going to decide, oh, uh oh we have two chlorines, but the right-hand side, only one chlorine. Uh oh that's no good. So we're going to put two right here. That makes, wait a minute, two chlorines and two chlorines. That's right. Okay, what about bromine? Okay, bromine, right here, two. Okay, that means left-hand side is only one. That's why we have to give this one two right there. Okay, that way, Oh, now we're going to count the sodium. How many sodiums? Okay, now two sodiums right here. Two sodiums right there. Fantastic. Oh, man, this is it. So, simply, stoichiometry. Very simple. Just like that. Just numbering. Okay, left-hand side, right-hand side. All you have to do is just the counting. Okay? So, how many sodiums, how many bromines, and okay, things like that. Okay? Let's continue. Okay, what about this? Oh, nothing standing by itself. Good. Okay, we don't have to worry about Brinkelhoff. Okay, oh, aluminum. Oh, that's right. So we have to think about this. Okay, before that, I want to talk about SO4. Okay, SO4. So what kind of valence this one has? Okay, S is hiding right here, sulfur. That means uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six. That's right. Okay, S is a positive six. Okay. Now, what about O? O is oh, that's right. So right here. So we're gonna count from the right hand side, right? Okay, negative one, negative two. That's why oxygen is negative two, but four times, oh, which is a negative eight. That's why total valence for this one. That's right, negative two. Okay, that's why SO four. That means negative two. What about aluminum? That's right. So aluminum. So one, two, three. Oh, number three column. That's why this one's a positive three. Okay. So three right there. Okay. What about calcium? Okay. One, two. Oh, that's it. Calcium is positive two. Fantastic. Now, I hope you remember. Okay. Aluminum was a positive three, right? Okay. That's right. Positive three. Okay. All three positive. Okay. Doesn't matter. Okay. This one. Okay, negative 2. Oh, that's it. Okay, what about this one? Positive 2. Oh, what about chlorine? Negative 1. Okay, so I hope you look at this one right here. Oh, that's it. Okay, so chlorine is negative 1. So what about calcium? Oh, you remember there's a positive 2. Okay, what about SO4? That's right, negative 2, right? Oh, now aluminum. That's a positive 3. Okay, so positive 3, maybe you can write just like this. Okay, so what about chlorine? Negative 1. Fantastic. Now, just to exchange this number, right? Positive 3 left-hand side here. Okay, you give this one 3. Okay, what about SO4? That's 2. That's why 2 right there. Aluminum 2. 
Okay, SO4 together, 3. That's it. What about calcium? Oh, calcium is a positive 2, right? Okay, then this one is only negative 1. That's why you gotta give this one 2. That's it. Oh, perfectly matched. I'm talking about just each one. Match for this portion, matched for this portion, okay? Oh, what about this one? Positive 2, negative 2. Oh, man, perfectly matched. Okay, what about this one? Aluminum 3, negative 1 uh, for this chlorine. That means this one gonna be chlorine right there. That's why aluminum chloride looks like this one. ALCL3. Now you gotta check each element. Okay? Now aluminum 2. Oh, that's right. Aluminum. Oh, left hand side. Only one aluminum right there. But two of them, right? Okay, aluminum 2. Now right hand side. Oh, wait a minute. Aluminum 1. Oh, man. Dangerous, right? Okay, so hey, all we have to do is just the two right here. Front of this one, two. That's it. Okay, now two aluminum. Oh, aluminum case. Oh, we all done now. Okay, what about SO4? Okay, we check. Left hand side SO4. Oh, three groups, right? So we call radical. Anyway, we're gonna talk about that one later. Okay, SO4, we have three of them, right? What about SO4 right here? Oh, only one. That's why we're gonna give it three right there. Okay. Oh, what about. Oh, Calcium, automatically calcium is 3, right? That means the left hand side, only 1. That's why 3 right there. Now, we got to check whole power, okay? So like a whole valence, okay? Now, left side, aluminum, 2, but positive 3 each. That's why 2 times 3, which is a positive 6, right? Oh, positive 6 right there. What about this one? Negative 2 times 3, which is negative 6. Perfect. Okay, what about this one? Okay, two each, but three times, that's why positive six, right? Oh, what about this one? Okay, so chlorine is one, but twice of this one, then three times, so totally negative six. Perfect. Now, the right hand side, calcium is a two, two times three, positive six. Oh, fantastic. Okay, this one, negative two times three, okay, negative six. Look at that. Okay, what about this one? Okay, three times two which is 6, right? Positive 6. All right there. Now, negative. Negative 3 of them, but twice of this one. So actually, uh, yeah, that's two molecules. Okay, so totally negative 6. Look at this one. Positive 6, negative 6. Positive 6, negative 6. You know what I mean? Everything matched perfectly. That's why, oh, this equation is perfect now. Oh, look at this. Now, hey, that's right. In the kitchen, we use propane gas that's right this one is a propane gas right okay if you have c4 that's a butane gas okay things like that anyway okay uh yeah okay this is three that's why propane prop means what prop means okay three that's right okay so a and e propane gas okay anyway uh we talk about this one so we need oxygen to burn this one right so we're gonna cook uh, ramen or whatever, make a bulgogi, okay? So then, oh, oxygen by itself cannot stand by itself. Right? So we put two right here because Dr. Brinkelhoff. That's right. Okay, now, uh, wait a minute. So we, now we give oxygen gas. So we burn this one. So we're going to get CO2, which is a carbon dioxide. Then, hey, automatically water right here, right? Okay, first thing you have to do is Hey, all you need is actually counting. You don't need a brain for this, okay? So now, oh, let's talk about C. Oh, that's right, carbon. Three carbons right here. Oh, that's only one carbon. So, hey, we just put uh, three right here, okay? So step number one. Then, okay, this time, what about hydrogen then? Because the oxygen, we use the two places right here. That's why we're going to do that one, the last, okay? So now, hydrogen. Total 8. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, hydrogen right here. Hydrogen 2. That means, oh, we put 4 here. So 4 times 2 is 8 total. Yep, we are done with hydrogen. That's it. What about oxygen? That's right. Oh, right hand side. Let's count how many oxygens right here. Okay, 3 times 2 oxygens. Total 6 oxygens, right? Okay, now what about the right hand side? Oh, 1 oxygen right here. 4 times 4 oxygens. Together, total 10 oxygens. 
right here, two right here. Okay, hey, all we need is just five right there. Oh man, great. Okay, no decimal number. You know what? Sometimes you have a 0 0.5 or 1.5 like that, so you double everything. Okay, then make this one double, which is a one, this one double, maybe three, something like that. Okay, but in this case, we don't need that. Okay. Hey, what do you think about this then? And water combined together can make it happen. That's right. Sodium hydroxide. Oh, hydroxide right there. You remember oxygen? Oxygen was negative 2. Hydrogen is positive 1. That means this is going to be negative 1. That's why from now on, okay, remember, OH is negative 1. That's it. Okay, now, oh, as soon as you look at this one, draw the right hand side. Hydrogen. That's right. Brinkelhoff, okay, Dr. Brinkelhoff, this one has to be diatomic, right? So we're going to put two right there. Okay, then, oh, let's count total how many hydrogens, okay? Now here, two, two hydrogens, which is the hydrogen gas, okay, then we have only one. That means, wait a minute, the left-hand side is two, Okay, oh, what about we increase this one? You must increase a little bit. Okay, let's try two. Two times two is four. That means, oh, so this one was one. Now we got to put two right here, make it happen. Oh, that's right. That means the totally left-hand side, how many hydrogens? Four hydrogens. The right-hand side, two hydrogens right here, and two hydrogens, total four hydrogens. Really good. Hey, now we're going to count how many oxygens, okay, now? Okay, oh, two oxygens. Oh, that's it. Oh, what about the right-hand side? Two oxygens. Oh, oxygen, they are happy. Okay, what about sodium now? Sodium, left-hand side, only one. Okay, left-hand side means uh, this side, okay? So, only one sodium. Now, the right-hand side, two sodiums. Hey, all we have to do is just put two right there. That means, oh, man, perfect. This is it. Perfect equation.